It's August 16th. Aaron and I are on the road to North Dakota to get stuff ready for opener here. We're about just under three weeks from opening day out in North Dakota. We're going a little earlier than we typically do. Our schedules are kind of busy here the next couple of weeks. Um, so we had, we got two, three days here that we're gonna spin out and uh, get all of our preseason work done. Kind of uh, gonna check a lot of spots we've hunted in the past. Uh, got a lot of spots that are new to us that we've kind of found scouting online. And uh, we're gonna run around It'll be a busy couple of days. We want to uh, get a lot of cameras out. We want to, uh, in spots, probably clear out some trees, make sure they're ready for stands. And uh, there's going to be a few spots. I got a feeling that we're going to set some ground blinds and then uh, probably do some evening scouting, see if we can get eyes on deer. But uh, it's going to be nice to get back out in North Dakota. Haven't been out here since uh, came out shed hunting in the spring. But uh, Dinkota's been sitting vacant since then, so we're excited to get back out here. We're excited to, uh, to kick off the season. It's gonna be uh, a little bit different this year. Mike drew a bear tag in Minnesota. So him and I are starting there uh, September 1st. Aaron, the plan is Aaron and uh, Dylan are coming out to hunt out in North Dakota for like the first five days, roughly. And then I think Dylan has to split. And then uh, JP and I are gonna hang out for an extended period of time and, and hunt for probably and better than a month. Quick lunch at Arby's. I'm gonna be living on Jack's pizzas for the next few days. Uh, <laughs> going to Arby's to order food and the power just went out. So they just closed her down. We're gonna try to find something else. Rack shack. I don't know. Whatever whatever we run into. Wow, well, there's one right there. Yeah, but everyone here is probably <laughs> running over there. So we'll probably just go down the street a little ways and find something. Huh. You are with me and I have the worst luck at fast food joints. It's unbelievable the luck that you have at fast food joints. <laughs> Unfreaking real. That's the first time I've ever seen the power go out though. Yeah. We're gonna try our luck. Burger King. These power or the stop and go lights are not working down on this end of town either, so not very optimistic about it. Maybe about I should this. just let you go in first and give me the heads up if they're open. Yeah. I'll pop around if they're open. <laughs> no? Well that answers our question. <laughs> Everyone down the strip's closed. Thanks. Power's back on. I don't know, two miles or so. All the stop and go lights have been off. Everything's closed. But these stop and go lights are working, so I think we're back into power. So we're looking for food. Food and gas. And then we're going to continue on. Face masks or face no coverings longer. no longer required for fully vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're vaccinated. Yep, we're vaccinated. Let's go. <laughs> Update. Got... Yep, hey. We got food. <laughs> Took us, was that our third? Third stop? Yeah, third stop. Almost an hour in. Third stop. Wasted about an hour. But we got food. So, that's good. <laughs> we back! <laughs> yeah, hey! That way.
kind of checking spots that we've hunted for the last several years, just getting an idea of what the crops are, how the crops look, and from our initial, like, rolling into camp, we were pretty worried about how, how dry it is out here, but the spots that we typically hunt so far that we've checked, the crops are looking good. Most of them are in beans. Some of them have corn and uh, the beans look surprisingly good. We found a couple of fields that are already turning yellow, which is about a month ahead of when they normally do. But uh, we are finding really, really nice fields also. Um, corn fields that are around a couple of our spots look good. They got ears. Uh, corn's not as tall as it normally is, but still uh, still looks good. So we're we're optimistic. We're happy with what we're seeing so far. We've got several other spots to check yet, um, but we didn't want to dive into throwing cameras out and picking out spots to hunt until we really get an idea of what's in the entire area. So we're still rolling around, probably gonna roll around till close to dark and we should have a solid uh, game plan for tomorrow after we see see some more spots here tonight. But uh, so far it's looking good. What do you think that sign says? <laughs> what did I hope it said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go hunting, have fun. But it doesn't, it says no public <laughs> access. <laughs> spots we want to cover today we had a productive evening last night driving around we found a handful of new spots that we're excited about excited to get cameras in those spots but uh, we're gonna get after it we've got a long day today I would imagine it'll be probably a 12 to 14 hour day for us right stop for lunch but uh, let's do it let's get some coffee and get after it Just got in the second spot here. Actually, we haven't hunted this spot for since 2016, I don't think. The crops just haven't been right back in here. But they planted beans back in this back end. There's a huge marsh to the north of us here. And we got a good tree. It's actually a tree I killed a nice buck out of in 2016. Best buck we've ever shot out here. Crops look good. We're gonna get a camera shooting out onto the corner of this bean field spread some community deer on this corner here try to get deer to come up in here and uh, give us a picture but uh should be a good spot Hey guys, welcome back to another first light in the field. Brent and I are out here in North Dakota today, and I just wanted to touch base on these sawbuck brush pants that I'm wearing today. They are awesome for this time of year and into the fall. Uh, right now we're out here setting blinds, setting cameras here to kick off our North Dakota season. They have four-way stretch nylon, and they're built durable. They are uh, they're tough, they keep out the thorns, the grass, all that stuff you brush up against when you're out hanging cameras and blinds and stuff like that, hanging tree stands. They also have the moisture shedding material, 
So we're out here in the mornings, the dew, all that kind of stuff, it just sheds it perfectly and keeps us dry. So they're awesome pants. They also have regular loops for buckles, but they also have these side pockets here for if you wanna wear suspenders with them. So awesome all around pants for in the field. And a lot of us use them here on the crew. So check them out, firstlight.com. Coming through here, nuts are... Well, with this, you could hunt a west and it's blowing it out over this marsh. Perfect world, they wrap this. Yeah, but even if they come, even if they come this way, they're coming right west, there. yeah. <clears throat> and that like it can, it's hidden from the road. Mm -hmm. You could get a camera right on that tree right there, that little one, and put it right here. Getting that one. Getting that tree, yeah. came into a spot last year was our first time we ever tried hunting this and uh, we were lucky enough to kill one in here late season but we got a huge marsh out to the west and there's a really thick windrow here that runs north and south and we can kind of sneak in here and backdoor this blind and we're overlooking a bunch of CRP grass leading out into this marsh and uh, the buck we got last year he ended up coming out of this marsh coming up across this CRP and came in perfect but uh, it's hard to get. I mean, you, there's plenty of big trees here, but there's such thick, like, underbrush here along this tree row. It's it's damn near impossible getting a tree. So we're gonna ground blind it. Um, typically, don't hunt on the ground blinds early season, but we got a few spots out here this year. We're gonna try it. I think it'll be effective. got finished up with our seventh spot of the day just got out here we took a quick lunch and uh, got out here we wanted to get stuff just keep rolling it's hot but yeah put in the effort and reap the rewards at least that's what we hope anyways but this spot set up pretty sweet we actually Brennan killed one here two I think yeah two years ago we have great access we can come in from over my shoulder here right down this bean field we got a uh, windrow right here and a lot of the deer like to bed straight to the north of us so we can we can hunt this on a northwest or a west sometimes we can get away with a north anything pretty much with west in it we can get away with it and uh, just seems to work out nice because they like to come right down this tree row we're usually in a tree right right over here my shoulder here and uh, just works perfect about seven o'clock throwing in the towel for the day we got nine spots cammed we've probably got I don't know roughly five or six to do tomorrow but uh, we're exhausted it's hot so we are gonna ride around in the truck here this evening and see what we can see for deer maybe fly the drone over a couple of spots we're thinking about getting into tomorrow and yeah Good day, overall, good day. Couple hiccups, but everything went good. Well, it is Wednesday morning. We had a pretty long day yesterday, probably 11, 12 hours of running around and uh, looking at spots to put stands and hung cameras. We only got probably four or five to do today. And then uh, that's gonna get us ready to rock and roll here come a couple weeks. So it's pretty much gonna be up to the deer. Hopefully we can get on some good bucks here and come out to opener with high hopes. So we're gonna get things going this morning. Like I said, it's supposed to get real hot and uh, we're just gonna try and bang out these last few and, and then hit the road tomorrow morning. So let's go get this done. Got back in a spot that uh, we hunted 
last year late season we had two jumbos in here really big bucks I think the biggest deer we had on camera last year both of them were coming in here they were very sporadic giant marsh here to the west of us mediocre looking alfalfa field and then on the other side of the marsh there's beans so I think a lot of the deer either come to the alfalfa or the beans and they come back in and, and bed up in here but uh, no trees back here um, there ain't a tree within a half a mile of us so we're gonna pop a baronet up in here I think we're gonna brush it right up against these bushes here and pretty much face west northwest with it and hopefully we'll get deer kind of filtering straight at us Well, we just got, got done for the day here. It's Wednesday. We're gonna roll out tomorrow morning. We gotta hit uh, uh, some bear spots tomorrow. Mike and Brennan baited those up, uh, would be last week, Friday. So we're gonna swing there on our way home, uh, freshen those baits up. He's got a couple bears hitting them already, which is good. And uh, that season actually starts the Wednesday before uh, we come out here for the opener. So we're gonna swing through there, freshen those up tomorrow on our way home. and. After that, everything's going to be on standstill and just waiting for opening weekend. So pretty pumped up. A lot of our spots look really good. Um, crops look good, uh, even with the really dry weather they've been having out here. So we're going to pack everything up here and uh, roll out early in the morning. Five a.m. We're going to hit the road. Make a pit stop in Minnesota, freshen up the bear baits for Mike, and keep on rolling. Two and a half weeks, we'll be back out here for opener. So. I like this one a lot better because we can drive right to it. This one, unless Mike wasn't getting pictures, has not been hit. So we're going to freshen it up and stink the place up. Make a little noise in here. Put some fresh jam on top of the logs and hope for the best. got to bait number three final bait this one also has not been found yet but we just came in beating on the bucket um, a lot of bees on these ones that haven't been hit yet because of the obviously all the sweet food that they're attracted to so JP's being a real team player and rebaiting these ones that have bees because I'm allergic so I'm gonna dump some fresh bait here beat on the bucket on our way out and uh, Hopefully these other two get found and the uh, 
the action stays good on the on the first bait we went to. We're all done here at Bear Camp. We've got all three baits baited. Like I said, two of them still haven't been found, but uh, we went in, freshened them up, made a lot of noise. Uh, the first bait that we went to, the one that's getting hit, we uh, dumped double bait there, and hopefully those bears keep coming in. But uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, following along. Um, tune in next week, and you're going to see actually opening week action right here in Minnesota. Mike and I will be here. Uh, season opens on September 1st, which is a Wednesday. So uh, be a quick turnaround on that semi live. We're hoping to uh, bring you guys some action there that following Sunday. So. Uh, Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys here on the next time I live.